Hello everybody, I'm Peter Grop, and today I'm giving you another Ruby Fairy. And today the fairy is going to be Will Blake join the white fan? One last time or just for our volume up oh, at the end of five, volume 5 or oh, no specific timing, just if she might join the white fan. Now, first thing. Now this I haven't heard this fairy from somebody bad a uh, better YouTuber or something, I just think that it's a pretty likely theory. And you must be asking me, why do I think that? I mean, Adam cut Yang's arm. After that, Blake doesn't have much chance, wouldn't have, not even a little bit, wish to join the white fan again. Well, yes, that is true. That did happen, and I'm totally agreeing with you. But here's the thing. If you remember exactly, Blake, Blake's a person that really has issue shoes, mental, and that would just kind of Blake. And what I mean with this is, imagine. In my theory version is that Raven, ha Raven has a beef with White Fang. She attacks the White Fang base. And then, boom, kills Blake's Bl and kills Blake's parents. Of course, Blake is not gonna be aware of Raven because they don't confirm that. Seriously, I think Blake only knows her name. Nothing else. So if Raven killed Blake's parents, that would give her enough reason to team up with Adam. To kill Raven. Hell, just with Son when he was incredibly hurt, she didn't want to really fight the, her be either because she was friends with her. Raven doesn't have that excuse, so Blake would totally legitimately be angry and break her and try to kill her no matter what or whatever it's going to take. And of course, as it's for known Yang would show up and not knowing the fact that her mother killed Blake's parents and incredibly damaged son she would obviously assume that Blake joined the white fin which in the end would end with them actually having that that battle I mean everyone would think Blake's the traitor not being at all aware of anything and if you're asking what about him, wouldn't he just be able to explain? Well, considering that Raven is a... Would, a considering the possibility of Raven killing Blake's parents... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that she won't l exactly leave Son a 100%. I mean, just one stri strike from Ilya's weapon... He'll, had him like we don't know for how long as knockout I mean I'm pretty sure multiple damages and very painful ones enough to go to a hospital for a while would be enough for reason why this could keep Sun out for revealing that. Hell some might not even be aware of that the Blake's parents are dead though He's being questioned by Ironwood. So that's actually a possible possibility. And because, well, Blake will have hate for Raven for killing her parents, like I already stated. Yank would think that Blake is a traitor as the a villain and because she tried to kill because she team up with Adam to try to kill her mom. And that way it'll be just she won't exactly be the most focused on stuff and things. Hell, she is exactly the one telling knowing a good parent but really. I mean seriously Yank. That woman didn't even want you to be aware that she exists. Seriously, I'm pretty sure mom and doesn't even want you to be aware of their existence until your father messes up and reveals that. 
He's in a pretty good mother. So, I think we can all agree that Yang's kinda stupid and untrusting thing Raven and stuff. And remember, Crow is Raven and brother, so he would possibly be trying to, you know, make them believe that Ra Blake is the one, the villain one, even though it's Raven. I mean, he'll be possibly aware of that. He, but he's not gonna be telling her because then Yang would be heartbroken to realize that she called, I don't know, Blake a dirty villain, evil bitch and stuff. I mean, just exalt her. Plus, if you were asking the explanation, I mean, well, uh, I am, well, Lieutenant's a pretty tough fellow, somebody like that, and they show up and say that, that they're quickly coming in, and I'm grabs Blake's hand, and they quickly run, run. He, he looks in her eyes and tells her that she'll get her revenge later and well bravo and literally please tell me that that doesn't seem like a likely scenario I mean just envision that and you'll be pretty much getting plus since it's kinda go mostly stare that Yang went to see Ruby instead of Raven yeah I am pretty sure she would pick, you know, she wouldn't be with her mother. And generally, if, since we have no idea at all how capable Blake was as a teammate with Anna, I mean, like, const, I mean, I don't mean that trailer, I mean, just constantly doing a double dub. Cause they being double team. I mean, literally, not like spin up and then we go team when there's a there's a power fight and even that fight more than last individual just together. And tell me that wouldn't be, be awesome. Plus, I do wanna see now what the fuck was Roman set I mean, thinking was basically saying to Blake when he stated what you've done. I would really like to have a reason what did he specifically mean with that. And that would be a great, in that scenario, that would be a great way. And be awesome for Blake to... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> My fault, Leo. So, yes. It would just be awesome. And awesome, that would be a great, you know, way to, you know, have Elia and Blake talking into their timeline and not being like, how could you, you, you betray, uh, blah, blah, blah stuff. You know, that was boring stuff. And come on, I think we all want to know how fucking then and yes this would have to be and yes that whole thing is involved on blue yang not that whole theory is hold on the only thing that yang doesn't know that raven killed blake's parents and be the one who could be done a damaged son but come on people i think we can all agree that they've been stupider this is it's where somebody became evil. Hell, in Kara made an entire video of top fi <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Top 11, I think. Stupidest heroes becoming villains. So yeah, I am pretty sure that there were stupid reasons why Blake would join. Hell, I mean, if you kind of think about it, Blake was... For what? Five years on the bad, on the villain side of Beacon, so yeah, her having serious emotion, enough angry at Raven for destruction, 
forgetting her parents do make sense. Why she would so easily just uh, forget about the fact that White Fang destroyed Beacon and just go on. I mean, hell, if they're not going to give us more some White Fang members and these give us more White and these have Blake be with them, that would be pretty fucking awesome. Now, how much I think this theory is possible? Well, since it would make sense, since they are kind of implying that Blake is going to be more than less separated, this would be a great reason. Hell, they could literally have Blake... We could literally get a good excuse why the villains are going to be more fixture more times in than, than pre in previous volumes. I mean, seriously, imagine how many heroes, how many cartoons out there, namely Steven Universe. Basically, the reason why they don't have villains in is because of the whole. The main character focusing. Well, since Blake is a uh, one of the main four, one the one of the main go, um, the third of the fourth uh, main heroine. I am guessing she's the second because why is it pretty? Well, for me, she's the second because why is Pretty generic, points a stereotype, and yeah, it's just not really that much it for me. And I am either young or wise, I'm just saying that for me, Blake's better. The hell, I make an entire video of why people seem to be hating her. Well, not really, that wasn't really the focus, but ah, still getting off track. Nice, I feel this, that yes, it would be, you know, good. I don't see why they wouldn't do that. It's a great idea. But yeah, there are still a lot of points like why would they keep them separate for another? And it's such a poor reason why they should be. And the brainwash is such a genetic, so yeah, there are a stupid reason how they could just finish this, but I would still like to see it. So I'm gonna put this theory at that halfway point. I mean, it would be awesome, we will get a lot, but still, I mean, those reasons are pretty generic and boring, why, why would they even make an app make that? Now, as you know, I'm Peter Grove, I hope you like this video, I hope you leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. See ya.